Hi, I'm Matt Pike, and in this video, I'll guide you through the effects section of the Mini Freak, Archeria's unconventional hybrid synthesizer. We're going to look at how these three stage multi effects sections can be anything from that little spice and seasoning that brings a patch to life, or the main ingredient which defines the soul of a sound. The Mini Freak has three effect slots which we can navigate between via the Effect Select button. We then have four controls per effect slot. The first knob chooses the effects type and we have 10 different effects to choose from. We can turn the effect slot on by clicking the effects type knob. And we can choose effects subtypes by holding shift and turning the type knob. For time-based effects, this is where you can find sync modes. The remaining three controls will have different behavior for each effect type, but will loosely follow the pattern of their names, time, intensity, and amount. So let's listen to the different effects. The first is chorus with time controlling rate, intensity controlling depth, and amount controlling dry wet. The chorus has a pretty dramatic range and five subtypes, including single mode, which can be great for creating vibrato-like effects. Phaser is a really rich and wide phaser with time controlling rate, intensity controlling feedback, and amount controlling dry wet. The subtypes offer a synced mode with rate times that can go all the way up to 12 bars and a spaced version for more hollowed out phaser effects. Flanger can go from a subtle shimmer to a full-on jet flange with the same control configuration as Phaser. The subtypes again offer synced rate times and an inverted silly mode for more dramatic effects. The reverb is superb and varied on the Mini Freak. Time controls decay, intensity controls the dampening to keep the space rich, and amount controls the send level.
The decay times can go from short splashes to near infinite depending on the subtype that's selected. We have six subtypes in total. Default is a great stock synth plate verb that we've just been hearing. Long has a longer pre-delay time and more modulation. Although designed for longer reverb times, it can be amazing on short but late bursts of verb. is a lovely, clean, all-purpose verb. Echoes is a low diffusion verb, which can be great for adding ambience or energetic shorter spaces around a sound. Vroom is a great realistic short verb for creating a sense of space without washing out a sound. And Darkroom provides a wider, deeper alternative. The delay also offers a wide range of flavors to really fine tune your effects. Time controls delay time, intensity controls the feedback, and amount controls send level. Each of the flavors of delay in the subtypes have a sync mode to help keep things locked in time. We have a digital option, which is the clean standard stereo delay we've just been hearing. Stereo adds subtle widening to the delays to separate them out from your sound. Ping pong alternates taps left and right for a sense of movement. Mono forces the stereo material to mono. Then we have filtered and filtered ping pong modes to help keep your delays tucked into the back of your mix like an old analog delay would. Mini Freak's distortion can provide anything from subtle warmth to complete destruction. Time controls the distortion gain. As you can hear, it gets pretty heavy on this sound, so I'm quickly going to switch this patch to mono for a bit. It 
Intensity controls a bidirectional filter before the distortion to help you shape it. The top half high passes and the bottom half low passes. A mount controls the dry wet mix to help achieve more subtle layered effects. We have six different distortion modes to experiment with, so it's worth taking time to get familiar with them. I'm personally a big fan of germanium distortions, especially on monophonic patches like this. The bit crusher can be one of the most subtle or least subtle effects. Time controls decimate and intensity controls bit crushing. Let's get those chords back and dial it all back a bit. So as we can hear, you can use this to generate subtle amounts of texture and create the sense of our sounds passing through a few old dusty 90s samplers. To make it even more subtle, you probably heard me using a mount as a dry wet mix there. Next we have the three band EQ, with time controlling low shelf, intensity controlling a mid peak notch, and a mount a high shelf. This can be useful to tuck your sound into a mix a little at source, or even shape it into other effects like distortion. The subtypes offer up a few different frequency band configurations if needed. The Peak EQ is a single band parametric EQ which can be used for more forensic sound sculpting when needed. Time controls frequency, intensity controls the gain, and amount controls the width of the peak. Also be great when used as an extra notch filter by modulating the time in the mod matrix. Finally, we have a truly unique addition to our hardware synthesizer. The multi-comp, which can squish and tonally shape your sound, either to create a more modern, finished result, or even to extract noise and texture that wasn't audible before. Time controls the attack and release times of the compressor, higher values being smoother, lower being more dramatic. Intensity controls the tonal balance of the bands.
and amount is the compression amount, which can get very extreme. The subtypes offer some alternative settings under the hood, for instance, help to tame bass or highs, or even just push everything even further. It's worth noting that reverb and delay are send effects by default, so they'll not be affected by the effects which follow them in the chain. However, they can be set to insert in the effects settings menu to allow you to keep them in the effects chain and set them fully wet, which can lead to some really nice creative results. Also worth noting is that the reverb, delay, and multiband can only be used once in the effects chain, unlike the other effects, due to them requiring a lot of processing power. So don't be surprised if you can't find one of them in the list, it just means that it's already used in another slot. So now we've covered all the effects and some possible uses for them, let's finish by playing through a few favorite presets which really make the most of what they have to offer. First, the DMB Drums preset, which uses distortion in effect slot 2 to amazing effect. Then Softsily, which uses the multi-comp in slot 3 to bring all the texture and flavour out of this delicate sound. and also Impale, which uses two distortions to turn a quite muted sound into a massive bass hit. The effects parameters can also be modulated via the mod matrix. For instance, we can modulate delay time to get pitching effects. Or we could modulate the send level on a big reverb to get waves of reverb washes only when the filter opens. So that's the effects section in Mini Freak. Hopefully this video has given you a taste of what the effects can do for your sound design. As with everything, experimentation is the key to finding the combinations that will give you that bit of magic we're all looking for when sculpting a sound. Make sure to head over to Arturia's YouTube channel to find our other deep dive tutorials on the Mini Freak and to find out more reasons why this little synth is bigger than it looks. If you've enjoyed what you've just heard and seen, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.